right, it's about 15 minutes till 7 o'clock. Welcome back, everyone. The FTC says it's getting reports of price gouging during Hurricane Milton. And a half million Florida businesses are at risk from this hurricane. And Jane King is live with the NASDAQ in New York with these stories and more. I know it's going to take time to assess all the damage and how much Ugh. people have lost business-wise, but it could be quite big. It could be, Sharon, and we're just now the sun is rising, and um, so people are just getting their first look, and it's probably just emergency personnel at this point. But about 552,000 businesses were in the areas at risk of a storm surge that was predicted to reach as high as 15 feet in some places, and about 4.4 million businesses in total were in the path of the hurricane. That's according to Dunn and Bradstreet, an analytics firm. Now, about 315,000 at risk of storm surge and 2.6 million in the path were small businesses. So they're going to be assessing those damage over the next several days and weeks, probably. Well, Hurricane Milton could result in a $50 billion loss to the insurance industry. Deutsche Bank says that is a conservative prediction. Others say Milton could be more costly, nearly $100 billion, which would put it close to Katrina. Water is also likely going to be the issue again with Milton as the hurricane expected to drive that big, uh, big storm surge. And that can complicate claims. And the Biden administration and warn consumers and businesses of the heightened risk of fraud, price gouging, and collusion that accompanies natural disasters quite often. The FTC says they're hearing troubling reports of price gouging for essentials that are necessary for people to get out of harm's way, from hotels to groceries to gas. And the Biden administration cited a number of issues for consumers to look out for, including fraudulent charities that claim to be taking donations for victims, scammers trying to get personal information, and exorbitant pricing for necessities. Sharon? Yeah, it's about keeping your eyes open. And I know it's difficult during, during crisis times when people want to help um, and they just want to do a right. good deed and unfortunately the chicken advantage of or price gouging too. So we just got to be uh, vigilant about that, all of us, yeah. right, Jane? S stick with those reputable ones yes. um, during those early days. Red Cross, you know, things like that that have been around for a long time and are known to do good work. Yeah. All right. Dan King reporting live from the NASDAQ yeah. this morning. Thank you so much. As always, we appreciate Thanks. it. We'll see you again tomorrow. All right. Let's head